Today, we will look into an IPv4 packet. We will particularly or specifically look into the structure of an IPv4 packet. Okay, so an IPv4 packet has two parts. The first part is the IP header that basically, you know, identifies the packet characteristics. And then we have the data, which basically contains the layer four uh, segment uh, that, that the IP or the network layer, you know, uh, gets from, uh, from layer four, which is the transport layer. This is, uh, you know, uh, a typical uh, diagram of an IPv4 uh, header. Uh, as you can see uh, from the slide, um, it has basically, you know, uh, in a row you have this uh, 32 bits, like four bytes, and then overall the the size of a, of an of an IPv4 packet is 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 20 bytes. So now we will go into you know uh, the the detail of each and every uh, field uh, of an IPv4 packet header. This is uh, you can see from the slide. This is a typical uh, snapshot of a Wireshark uh, software that is uh, very much widely used. It's a network monitoring uh, tool and it is very famous uh, in the in the networking community. Okay, so now uh, we will look into, you know, uh, uh, the uh, uh, the explanation of each and every field uh, of, of IPv4 uh, header. Okay, so first we look into the, you know, the version uh, field. As you can see uh, on the on the slide, uh, this uh, there is a version uh, field is is basically a four bit uh, field and it indicates the version of IP that is currently being used for communication. And uh, as we have only two versions of IP, IPv4 and IPv6, this particular to represent IPv4, so you have to represent four in binary, like 0100. And for IPv6, you have to, you know, it should be 0110 that basically says it's an IPv4, V6 header. Okay, so the next field is the IP a header a length field. And that field basically identifies the, you know, the number of 32-bit words in the header. So the minimum value for this field is going to be 5. And as you can see from the slide, uh, because the value of the bit represents a 32-bit word, so 5 multiplied by 32 is going to be 20 bytes, which is the minimum size of an IPv4 header. And the maximum value it can go up to is 15, which is basically around exactly 60 bytes uh, of packet header. Okay, so, so the third field is differentiated services uh, field. It is further subdivided into two fields. It is a one byte field, and uh, it was uh, basically formally called a type of a service uh, field. And the field is used to determine the priority of each packet for quality of service, obviously. The first six uh, bits are basically, you know, used to identify the DSCP code, which is the differentiated services uh, code point uh, for quality of service. And the last two uh, bits uh, in this field basically identify the ECN, which is the explicit congestion uh, notification value that is used to prevent packet drop in time of network congestion. Okay, so now that the fourth field is a total length field, it's a 16-bit field that tells you the overall the packet length which includes the header and also the data. And the, the you know, the value is basically, you know, um, uh, described in terms of bytes. So the minimum length is going to be 20 bytes, which means uh, only the header plain no data. And the maximum is going to be 65,535 bytes to be exact. And then you have this, uh, you know, the 32 bit uh, for uh, fragmentation and reassembly. And this is used because, you know, a router may have to fragment a packet uh, when it is going to, you know, forward it to uh, to a medium whose uh, maximum transmission unit or MTU is smaller than the one it has received. So when this happens, the fragmentation is going to take place. And for that, you need these, you know, three fields, which is identification field, that is a 16-bit number that uniquely identifies a fragment of the original IP packet. And then you have the flag bit, it is a three field, which basically tells you that if the more fragments are, are going to come or not. And then you have the fragment offset uh, field. That field basically is, uh, you know, a 13 uh, bit uh, field. And it tells you where you are going to basically put 
the fragment when you are going to reassemble the packet so it tells you the location of the of the fragment that you have received and where you're going to put exactly in your uh, in your final packet okay time to live is ttl uh, it's it's an 8 bit field that is used to basically you know uh, limit the lifetime of a packet every router or every node that basically receives the the packet is going to decrement this ttl field by 1 and it is commonly referred to as hop count and if the value of this TTL field reaches uh, to zero before it eventually uh, go, you know, um, received by the destination, if it reaches to zero before that, then the router is going to drop that packet. The next field is the protocol field. It's an 8-bit field that basically tells the, the you know, the, the type of data that the packet is carrying. And uh, it has its own uh, values. Every uh, protocol, the upper layer protocol, uh, has its own value being given by IANA. Uh, for example, the ICMP, if it has an ICMP packet in the data, then the value is going to be 1. For TCP, it's going to be 6. For UDP, it's going to be 17. Okay, so the next field is the header uh, checksum field. It's a 16-bit field that is used to uh, basically, you know, find out any error in the IP header. And checksum field is basically... Uh, calculated at every hop which means that by every router okay so we have a 32-bit uh, source IP address field which is an IP uh, IP address and then we have uh, also the destination uh, IP address field uh, in the IPv4 uh, packet header so this is uh, all we uh, studied about the structure of an IPv4 uh, packet uh, in particular we looked into uh, each and every field of an IPv4 header.